Hello everybody and welcome. Today is the first day of winter kind of. We got a snowstorm that happened. I'll show you guys what it looks like. Look at that, we got some snow. The mountains are all covered and frosted and there's still clouds up in it. But that's nice looking, right? I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I hate driving in the snow. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I hate driving in the snow, but Good news today is Lexi's back from the hospital. She was in the hospital for like three days. Um, all the things are going a lot better. Um, they said a lot of the medication was working really well on her, so we'll go say hi to her. So let's go say hi. And Lexi is home. She's very tired doggy. A very tired doggy. And there she goes. <laughs> It's like there's food in the other room or something. But I think she's very happy to be home. Um, I think she, they said they had two puppies by her so she was up all the time because they're very yappy. So every time she just walks around, she just looks like she's about to fall asleep. So that's good for her. Now we just have to figure out how to give her her medicine and whatnot. So yay. So we are now at work and I'm trying to put a little Christmas details in our Christmas room. We did a really big thing. We got two chairs, so we're kind of thinking that Mrs. and Mrs. Claus are sitting in the middle of the room. Kind of like old couples do, like they just have their chairs that they sit in. So we just got those today. We got our lovely red one for Santa. And a little bit of a burgundy one for Mrs. Claus. I think they look really good though. Like, I think they look really nice. Oh, and camera day, you look really bright too. And then I've been working with technology and I added Santa up on the screen, which looks really good. So right now we're gonna actually stop and get some nutcrackers for a puzzle and then up there I'm starting to switch out the photos of Houdini because it's not Houdini anymore, it's Santa. So we gotta get those out. So right now we're at Big Lots, so we're kinda of decorating looking for Christmas decorations surprisingly. But we're at Big Lots and we're trying to choose on a tree right now. We're trying to see something that's not huge but it's a little bit more narrow but we want like it's Santa's house of course he said I have a good tree so this isn't a bad tree though like oh I didn't even show it this isn't a bad tree <laughs> but I'm trying to figure out the right colors and whatnot for it it's kind of interesting like what you had to put into it also I have something really funny to show you also I was like why is there just like Christmas snowman head I was like who, who decapitated a snowman? But I just realized this is probably, I read on it that it's actually a tree topper. So yeah, that's a tree topper, not a let me kill Frosty. <laughs> I got really confused for a second though. We found the haunted Christmas, oh, he, he, I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he repeats you. I was so scared what he was doing. <laughs> I thought he was just jumping around over here. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's scary. <laughs> Everyone should subscribe to YouTube, Jake Anderson. Everyone should subscribe to YouTube, Jake Anderson. Yeah, uh, kind of, kind of. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! This is one of the more weird things right here. Snowman bush. I mean, it's not I'm like if you had like a Californian house, this is, would look nice, but. Okay, we're here. Also, you can tell it's Christmas time. They're putting out the Christmas tree lots already. It's the first one I've seen of the season. They haven't have any trees in it yet, but they sure do have candy canes around it. Christmas time is here. Target to get a headset. That is a special headset, one that you can see the virtual world for. We're going to get a VR headset, so come join us as we go in. And also, it's a very snowy day, so Yay for that. Also, it's Christmas time at Target. It's been a second, the last time I was here it was all Halloween. So we 
got it. It's there. Um, I didn't think they were going to have them stocked. They said on the website, but when we went to the display case, they had nothing. But luckily, we just asked a team member. They're like, yeah, we just haven't put them out yet. So here they are. So make sure to check the website because then you can find out if they actually had them in stock. So we're still walking around Target for the rest of the time. Look, it's Christmas time. They got all these fancy blankets out. And then over here we have nutcrackers. Look, you can get a dinosaur nutcracker. That's kind of cool. I like the penguin one though. And then there's snow globes. That's kind of an interesting selection of snow globes, not gonna lie. You got dinosaur, snowman beach, Paris. These are some interesting trees. The ceramic, I think. It looks like they come up. Oh, they're candles. Okay, that makes sense. I'm like, these are so weird looking, but they're candles. I wish I could smell them. They even have tinsel trees, which is just so old school. I love it. I actually want to get one and have a cutter spinning wheel with one of them. And then, you know, the loudest reef in the world. <laughs> I, I even like these just little plants up here though. I think they're kind of cute. It's very subtle Christmas over here. I like all their little mugs over here. Especially these ones right up here. These are super cute and they're only $5. Like, I like that one a lot. You can even get creepy gingerbread that you're drinking out of his skull. I got really confused with this soap dispenser. I'm like, why does this dog have a mask on? It's so weird. I'm like, why is he robbing everyone? And then, you know, you turn the corner and then, oh wait, he's not wearing a mask. Whoops. What, what are you stealing, dog? Are, are you stealing Christmas? Are you the Grinch? All right. Into Christmas Palooza. It doesn't look like everything's out yet. And right here we have all our stockings. We got all the leather ones. We even have ones for dogs, which I love. Not much different than the other years, but I do like these ones. I think these are fun, but nothing too different from the previous years. I like all their small little trees. I think those are fun. And over here they have glowing snowmen and little houses. I think the houses are interesting. You can use these for Halloween as well. These mailboxes are super cute. I just like how the simple look on them. I really want to get some, not gonna lie. Then over here they got these little cute cars and Noel sign. I like this one. I think this one's super fun looking. It's very simple. And then a couple deers. I love that they just have smaller versions of the bigger items. They're like, eh, just glue on top of that. Just shrink it down and glue it. It kind of cracks me up because like there's the Santa boots right there. And there they are again. They got all these Christmas characters and I want them all. I love the dinosaur and you know, of course the Christmas Corgi, but Christmas Narwhal, Christmas Llama, you know, who doesn't want Christmas Llama? I like that they have just like garland you can buy, like just pre-lit garland that you can put on like mantle places. It's very nice. And then here's just your normal garland and stuff, wood branches. It's very woodsy this year. It seems like that's flannel and woods. And then they just have a whole bunch of trees. For not bad prices. I mean, this tall tree right here is only $30. That's a pretty decent tree for that price. Yeah, like they have some really nice trees. I don't know half the trees already burned out. So maybe not, don't get this tree. They got some cute tree toppers. This one has a Santa guy that goes around it. This one has a little disco ball. This one's just an infinity mirror. Oh, there I am. And then just like little sparkly, there's a lot of different tree toppers. I've never really looked into it because it's always been at my parents' house, but now I'm like, oh, what's this? What's this? Everyone's favorite character, Christmas shark. We love Christmas shark and Christmas elephant. So we found one of the interactive items is a radio that when you press like North Pole, and after a word from our sponsors, we'll have daughter and listen to their take on the big night to come. I think this is really cute. And you can also be like, Merry Christmas. And it's a voice changer, so that's kind of cute. I think it, I don't know how much it is. Let's see. 
it is $25. That's not bad. I think a lot of kids can have fun with that. I think it's interesting that they just have a whole bunch of trees there. I mean, it's interesting that they have a whole bunch of doors over there. Elves, cars. They have a really cute one. Oh, I like these snowmen up here. Super fun, there's a lot more. So one of the cool things they have around here, we saw this on TikTok, is pretty much pull the switch. And with that magic trick, it'll actually usually turn on the tree, but I don't think they have it set up yet. But this is how you can control the tree from over there. It's like a smart light, honestly. And then you can turn it off that way. I like it. And then over here, we have a couple of other ornaments. I like, I like these as like little people. They're cute. And trees, stars, birds. I want all the birds. Whoa, what, what do you find over there? Another mailbox to Santa. That oh, that's super cute. I think I like that one more though. Yeah. But that is a fun idea. Yeah, like kind of like it's, little. oh, and there's a mail slot on the back to actually open it up and get the letters. Well, Santa has to get somehow. Oh, and they still have walking Santas up the tree. And we found the Santa. It's kind of cool. Oh, and he pops out. And he does a little jiggle. I like him. And he's all fabric, so I think he's really kid-friendly. And he goes back in the sack. Oh, he's coming back. Do a little dance. Hey, there he goes. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, Santa, bye. <laughs> it's really sad when he gets goes it's really sad when he goes back in. And they have little friend foods, like avocado. <gasps> Thanks, it's an avocado and toast. And pizza and ketchup, super fun. These just look like weapons that you keep in the tree, not gonna lie. We, they also have a radio that you can turn on. <gasps> Elf news, and then you can just go through the. This is your North Pole weatherman, Blizzard Bob. I think that's cool. They got jams going on, and there we go. We got dancing Santa. Oh, he's being up. He's being up the snowman. Oh no, Santa, stop! Santa, stop! <laughs> then there's like this curse image behind him. I don't know what's going on here at Target, but please don't beat up Santa. Stop beating up the snowman. So one of my goals this year is actually to get one of these vintage Christmas trees and actually have like one that my grandparents had. I want to get one so bad this year. Don't know where I'm going to find it. They had a lot of them last year, so I'm thinking I'm going to find them this year. Christmas frog. You know, some of these they get like the Christmas pickle and stuff. You know, the Christmas croissant, but who just wants the whole thing of butter? Just butter. I don't know what's going on here, but Minnie looks really weird. Like, I think it's sunny. It looks like she has bags under her eyes. I think that's what's going on there. Like, I had the Mickey down there, but something just looks off with the mini. Also, you got Mickey sledding over here. That's cute. I even like just the simple Mickey globe that they have. Rapunzel looks like she's seen some stuff. <laughs> Everyone else looks fine, but Rapunzel? I don't know what you've seen. Also, they just have a whole selection of golden dinosaurs. I'm here for it. There it is, the Quest 2. We only got, from Facebook actually, um, only got the 64 all right, um, gig one, just because eh, I have a computer that I can just play off of, so let's get this bad boy open. Now other companies, take note. This is actually a really nice thing to have when you're trying to open up something, so you don't have to try to pry every last inch of it off. Thank you. <laughs> eh, there we go. It's, it's team effort. So it's just easier to slide off, you can slide it. There it is, and it looks like it's a recyclable box. Look at that. So we got our controllers, headset, controller, and then I think this is charging. So. We'll go get this charged up and we'll see more. Oh, and little glasses holders, but I don't need that. So, it is about midnight. Um, wow, that is a lot of fun. 
Um, pretty much we've been, me and Bryce, so Bryce has one as well, and I own one. The Quest is what I'm talking about. It is super fun. Um, I didn't expect to have that much fun with it. We did a lot of different things, so we tried setting up for my computer to stream um, games on it, which is not capable at the moment, so I'll have to buy a new core processor, which is a little bit of money, so we'll have to wait a little bit on that. So that took a couple hours to work with, and then we just played some games in there. Um, we played The first game we played a lot of is Rec Room. Rec Room's super fun game. It's just like a grand experience. It's, um, pretty much a giant playground to play with your friends and me and Bryce did that. We did like an escape room one. I'm just trying to think what else we did. Yeah, we did two escape rooms, which were super fun. Um, pretty much you had to go through like caves and get kit crystals and stuff and figure out puzzles. It was really unique. I didn't think I was going to play escape room tonight, but little did I know, I did. And then we took a little bit of a break. Um, we made some ch orange chicken. We made some orange chicken, so you know, that's always good. Um, the problem was I got a little nauseous with it, so I don't think my eyes were so used to it yet because when we were like climbing up ladders, it started getting me nauseous. I don't know. I've never had that experience before in VR, but I think it was just after being it for a couple hours, I was like, ooh, I don't know if I can handle this much longer. But after we went back and played it after it was done, completely fine. Um, I tried out a fishing game, which was beyond fun, actually. It was just throw a casting line out and reel in some fish. It was super simple, but it worked really well, and it was really fun. Like, just a grand old time. Not a lot happened, like I said, we went to Target today, and looked at that, and got the quest, and came home, and set up, and been playing. But you know, sometimes you gotta have those chill type of days. We watched a little bit of YouTube between maybe like for like an hour or two. Not a lot happened, honestly, now that I think about it. Um, dog update, Lexi, our other dog. Um, she's doing better, she's starting to eat now. On um, the first day she wasn't eating back, but she's starting to eat hot dogs, so you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the dog to eat. And she's taking her pills, which is a good sign. So step by step, um, I think it's going to be a little bit, but right now hot dogs is the way to do it, so we're doing hot dogs. Um, so yeah, that's really fun. Well, not sick dog, but rec room and all the quest stuff is super fun. So thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe, that always does help, and we will see where we decide to roam and wander next.